News Nation is committed to following the ongoing surge of migrants at our southern border. We were the first to report more shipping containers are being used as a barrier along the Arizona section of the U.S.-Mexico border, and construction is in full swing. It has been more than a month since Governor Doug Ducey in Arizona issued the order in hopes of slowing the flow of people and drugs. News Nation was there as migrants continued to slip through the gaps in the new construction. So far, 137,000 migrants have gotten away this fiscal year, which started just in October. At this rate, we are set to have another record year of illegal immigration. Our Allie Bradley has been following this story from the beginning and joins us live with a progress update. Good morning, Allie. Yeah, hi, good morning, Mitch. This controversial way of kind of securing the border that the governor is doing is in full swing. We're looking at more than 834 containers now in place, stretching more than three miles through a national forest here in Arizona. So let's take a look here at where we are with the very latest progress. Governor Ducey saying regardless of the pushback he's getting, he's not slowing down. It's Arizona Governor Doug Ducey's idea of securing the border. No, this is not on a loop. This is what miles and miles of shipping containers blocking off entry to the United States looks like. Opponents to the project say the barrier isn't just keeping out undocumented immigrants. Sky Island Alliance sharing this video of animals looking for ways around the containers. It's a tragic waste of public funds. It's a tragic loss of lands um, and it's a destruction of habitat for no great reason. Um, it's an ineffective wall against humans, but it's quite effective at crushing oak trees and blocking the movements of animals. A group of about 20 protesters showed their disdain for the governor's project, holding signs reading, stop trashing our public land and Governor Ducey's $100 million junkyard. Hours later, the National Forest Service issued a warning saying people should avoid the area as construction equipment and unauthorized armed security personnel are on site. Crews now have road close signs posted approaching the work zone. The Forest Service and other federal government agencies have informed the state that the containers are unlawful, pushing to dismiss a lawsuit levied by Governor Ducey asking a judge to designate the land for state use. As the project moves ahead, the Arizona governor's office says they have no intention to halt the project. Cochise County Sheriff Mark Daniels hopes it sends a message to the Biden administration. And we feel like we've been forgotten down here. Enough is enough. Work with us. We're willing to work with you as national sheriffs, state sheriffs, western sheriffs. Let's work together for the good of the people. Okay, so you saw about three miles of the project there. When it's all said and done, the $95 million project is going to span 10 miles and it's going to utilize around 3,000 of those shipping containers. This, of course, all comes as the Biden administration is weighing contingency plans on how to continue securing the border when Title 42 goes away December 21st. And in one month from now, Mitch, a new governor will be taking over. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with those shipping containers. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.